My name is Bolaji Kembo. I'm a professor of African and African diaspora art history at the Rhode Island School of Design, Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, I am Yoruba from southwestern Nigeria, although we have descendants of Yoruba peoples in the U.S., in Cuba, in Brazil, in Puerto Rico, in Trinidad, in Dominican Republic, all over the African diaspora, and also in West Africa. Uh, we have descendants of Yoruba people or Yoruba communities in Syria alone, in Liberia, in Senegal, in Togo, in Benin, in Ghana, because Yoruba people have always envisioned their culture as very diasporic. Yoruba conceive of their world, the universe, as embracing the world of the living, as well as the reality of the unseen presences of the ancestors or the departed, who are still exerting a lot of influence in the cultural traditions of Yoruba people. Uh, so put very simply, Yoruba see their world as containing two interpenetrating realities. On one level, you have the world of the living, and on the other, you have the world of the departed. All right? And these departed, who we can regard as the ancestors, are in no way very different. Uh, you know, from the reality of the live experience of different peoples all over the world, in the sense that my grandmother, who has translated today, who has gone, you know, to join the ancestors, holds a very treasured memory in my mind. And, uh, and in that respect, you know, every individual has the potential of becoming an ancestor a well-lived life, a, uh, you know, a life uh, that ends, you know, at a very ripe old age when somebody joins the ancestor, becomes an occasion, becomes an excuse for you to celebrate the contribution of that person, you know, uh, to society, to the family unit. And because of those treasured memories, uh, people come together within the family unit, within community level, you know, to celebrate the contribution of such important people in society. And that partly explains, you know, some of the rituals of life uh, that Africans celebrate, you know, celebrating contribution of ancestors and some of those ancestors who made significant contributions to society can rise to the level of deities. Uh, and so they are important heroes who are now celebrated as Orishas. Uh, for Yoruba peoples, Orisha, if you will, are the gods and goddesses on Yoruba pantheon. Uh, much of my creative work are informed by, you know, um, Yoruba mythologies, and oral narratives. Uh, I paint images in celebration of some of these Orisha. Shango, Oya, Oshun, Yemoja, Ibeji. These are paintings that I created specifically as a kind of homage, as a kind of celebration of the contribution of some of these important divinities. Uh, in Yoruba universe. I look, uh, I can start, you know, with Shango, for instance. Uh, the fourth Allah of Yoruba, though Shango was legendary, uh, he is regarded as the god of thunder. And he was supposedly very tyrannical, you know, fourth king of one of the last of Yoruba kingdoms, Oyo. Empire. Shango was very tyrannical, he was very brutal, but he was very ambivalent. He was also protector of the vulnerable, the disenfranchised, you know. Uh, he protected twins, and he was supposedly very kind and very benevolent. 
And so when you find this duality in a leader, it partly explains why people celebrate Shango, despite the fact that it was known to be very tyrannical, very brutal, but they celebrate him because he was taught to be beautiful. Beautiful in the sense that, in the sense, in ways in which Yoruba understand the notion of beauty, beauty of personality, beauty of individual that goes beyond physical or surface beauty ever, but one that lies at the level of the intrinsic. When you celebrate people's character, their personality, and I think in essence that's what Yoruba people are celebrating. Iya is the Yoruba word for mother, but on an extended level it also recognizes the primacy of mother nature. And this is one of the reasons why Yoruba celebrates Iyanla, the great mother, Mother Earth, who sustains our own. And this is given concrete expression in the annual ritual of Gelede festival we find in many Yoruba communities. Here, Mother Heart is conceptualized in this pageantry uh, where the role of the mother is celebrated, you know, as a communal uh, festival that unites people, uh, that gives them their sense of identity. But it's also a way of recognizing the, the unique contribution of our mothers as nurturers, uh, as the very basis, the foundation and stability of the home.